Hi, good morning. This is Shahid again. Uh, let's look at a uh, few more toolkit examples. Go to gallery and from lesson activity toolkit examples, we choose uh, uh, timeline reveal. This activity is very useful for history lesson uh, you can see there are different dates and when you click on the dates some description appears on the screen and uh, let's look at how to modify this and click at it and there are different dates you can uh, you can choose the dates that you need in your lesson and add the description there is a limit of 10 on a page so if you need more you can add more pages and you can also protect them with your password okay Next, we are going to look at uh, word guess. In this activity, the student gets what word it is. Let's go to full screen and entire page. So, for example, in this word, there are one, two, three, four, five letters. We can also the student can click on the clue if they want. A figure formed by two rays sharing a common endpoint. So the word is probably angle. So let's see. Yeah, it is. So what happens if we uh, click on the wrong letter? It says miss. So let's edit it and see how it is made. So we have the words on the left side and the clues on the right. And we can also choose between the soccer pole, basketball, and tomato splash. Let's see how tomato splash works okay okay what happened if we click the wrong the guy is happy over there so this is pretty much uh, you can make uh, activities for the students to practice vocabulary and the spellings okay next activity is uh, we want to look at is multiple choice this one is a good activity for a little quiz if you want to have if you want to give quiz to your students is uh, only one question at the time and four choices entire page so So it, uh, it gives the feedback immediately what happened if we click the wrong one. Uh, we have to reset, I guess. Okay, next. We 
haven't checked the wrong one there so if we click the wrong answer it shows the feedback immediately let's look at uh, how to edit it so we have a choice of choosing up to 10 questions and then we can type the question here and give the the choices and also you can give the correct answer and uh, save the activity you want to protect it with the password you can do that as well and test it okay next activity we want to look at is uh, pairs this is very interesting activity for for the kids you have to match two uh, two shapes or you have to match shape and the text So uh, this is very interesting for uh, depending on uh, which grade level you are teaching. You can um, obviously select your contents accordingly and let's see how it is made. So here we also have the choice how many pairs we need. The maximum is 12. and we can add the pictures in the words or we can add just the pictures related pictures and uh, click ok and that's it Okay, there are a few more activities which are very useful for review and practice. There are category sort and category sort image and category sort text. This example uh, has the graphics or pictures of the angles and it asks uh, to sort them according to the size of the angle. If it is less than 90, it is acute. And probably 90 is also, this is a little bit more than 90. Obtuse. the students can check if what have they done is correct or incorrect and they can reset they can also you can show them or they can check the solution uh, let's look at how to make this activity so you add the labels of two categories or there is a choice of the third one as well so you can add the labels of three activities and then you can <coughs> you can also choose how many uh, images you want to show the maximum is 16 and it is also your choice if you want to give the solve button or you don't want to give the solve button you just drag and drop the graphics here and choose the category and test it we didn't give any uh, label for the third category and uh, we have some blank graphics as well but the one which are given already should work
So this is how we can uh, very easily make uh, lesson activities in uh, Smart Notebook. And it's very engaging and interactive. And I hope you like it.